Welcome back again to the third Allied playthrough of OA-29, the Amy Age. And we have wind change. Gusting winds. So the smoke happens something. So we need to know in what direction the wind is blowing. So direction three. <clears throat> and we need this one. So we have in this direction. So we automatically get some flames here. I just need to figure out where they are. There they are, of course. So there we have one. And we have one there. And this also rubbles and becomes burning rubble. So here we have that. Okay. So this is it. So automatic spread there. And this will go down <clears throat> by one. So there we have it. And then we have rally for the British. So they will try to self-rally their leader there. He does not, but he loses DM. Then the Germans will try to rally over here. And he's happy. Okay, then we have prep fire phase. So this guy wants to shoot. He will fire eight up three to there. Whoops. So it's a pin toss check for the school. And he is very much pinned. Then we have uh, this thing will show itself and open fire <clears throat> on this guy with four firepower IFE and flat on modified for that so it's for even and he malfunctions the gun that was no good so then this guy will have to fire i think actually he is not he will try to get away from there. So other fires from the British. And uh, no. So instead we go to movement phase. And I will start with this guy. So he starts mechanical reliability. That is good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven and there he will go approach post eight stop nine and he will fire bounding fire with his coaxial and anti-aircraft machine gun for a two up one to there fantastic three on the two it's a one world check for these guys. And what was the German sniper number? They also get the sniper. <clears throat> but first the one MC. And he breaks. He does not ELR. Okay, that was somewhat helpful. So, after that, we rolled for the German sniper. Big German sniper. Direction five, four hexes. One, two, three, four, goes to there. So it is to there, to there, or to there. Not him, because he have TM of plus three. Not to him, he have a TM of plus two, I think. Need to check that, so I will pause a little bit here. Okay, so he can choose this one or this one, and he will obviously take the tank that is then recalled so some are immediately punished so he goes bu and is and have a big stun and the armor leader is gone Okay. <clears throat> so most unfortunate for the British, but they got rid of this guy, which is a good thing. So what to do next? Well, they will start this one and the German tank immediately takes the shot with his coax machine gun. So that is a two flat. No effect. So one, one and a half, five and a half. And there, actually, one and a half, two, three, four along the road, four and a half, uh, five and then this guy will take a shot seven flat and this one goes boom because it is burning so it's a 16 up three to there eight and the 16 is a one shake 
So this guy will be re revealed. The one check he passes. Then we have a 16 of 3 on this guy. Actually, 16 of 3 on this. It's one check, nothing else. 16 of 3 on this guy. Now, if you see a 10 on the 16, is a morale check for the leader. Leader passes. The squad have pins. Then we have 16 up 3 on himself. So that's a morale check. He passes. Okay, that was that. So then we have more movement. So I will go with this guy, assault move one. And this guy will go with a assault move to there. For two. So this guy takes the shot, eight of two. And no effect, so it fires subsequent, four of two. No effect, but we still have four residuals there. And then we have this guy. He will go one, two, three, four. They will stay He will stay, he will stay. The rest actually over here, I will go with a salt move upstairs for one. Same thing here, salt moves one upstairs. So that was the British movement phase, remove residual, and defense fire. So this guy, he will fire, uh, he is halved and halved again and doubled, so he's halved, so it's a two up three, no good, no good, no good. Uh, but we have this guy who will fire. He will fire four up two on the upper level there. Actually, two up two. No effect. And then we have a two up three there, two up three there. That is nothing. So that was it for defensive fire phase. Advancing fire phase. This guy will shoot to there for three. Actually, he will fire for three to there. No effect. Then we have this guy on the upper level. We'll fire a two flat there. No effect. And finally, we have this guy fires two flat there. And that is covering, so no effect because he was not first line.
so anything else i don't think so so remove prep and we have route phase so british don't do anything we actually have place spread so this we'll try to spread there no nope. then it will try to spread to the orchard no nope. to the stone building oh yes even though it blows in the other direction i think yeah Then this stone building. No, and this stone building. No, but it can also spread there again. But it does not. Okay. So now routes. This guy will have to surrender. So we have a prisoner, the British will take him, and he is gone. And nothing else for routes, and then we have advance. So this guy will go back there. This guy will go down there. This guy will go up here. These guys will go downstairs again. And this guy will lose his concealment and enter into close combat there. And try to do something about this German advance. So that was the route phase, close combat phase. Uh, advance phase, close combat phase. So ambush over here. Color die is the British. So the British are ambushed. So Germans attack first, one to one, or they can get out of dodge. And they will actually withdraw before this. So they will go there and not attack in close combat. And then the leader here will become DL. So that was it for close combat. We remove pin, we flip stun. And we have Next up, German play turn four, and now it is starting to look real bleak when the only anti tank weapon the British have is the anti tank rifle. So, I hope I see you for the next play turn.